do not deprive each other except by mutual consent, except for a, a time for fasting and prayer. Is it valid to feel rejected when he's the only one getting off? Yes, my friend. And my question is, why do you continue to have sex with a person who is not invested in your sexual pleasure? Because if you say no to a man who will not invest in your pleasure, you are not sexually rejecting him. You are not depriving him. In fact, he is literally the one depriving you. This is a selfish man who does not deserve access to your body just because you are married. That's not how it works. So I want to know, why is he not invested in your pleasure? Why is he so selfish that he only cares about getting himself off? If he is unwilling to do foreplay. Now, if we are giving this man the benefit of the doubt, it is true that both sexes are wildly undereducated about sexual pleasure in females. And so maybe he doesn't realize that most women need 20 to 40 minutes of foreplay in order to be ready for penetration. And that most women need 14 to 20 minutes of direct clitoral stimulation in order to orgasm. It's entirely possible that he does not understand those things. But why isn't he trying to learn them? Because I know many a good Christian man who, if their wife did not orgasm, would not be satisfied to let that go. They would be trying to figure out every which way to get her there because they understand that her orgasm is just as important as his. If this is a conversation that you do not feel capable of navigating on your own, I offer private coaching where we can talk and we can figure out what is the problem? Is this simply an undereducated man or a selfish one? Go have better sex.